Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the Low Budget Review Show. I am your host, Eric Smith, and today we're talking about something a little different. The non-fiction book, What If, by Randall Monroe, and this is Serious Scientific Answers to Absurd Hypothetical Questions. Uh, and this is, this is a lot of fun. Right off the bat, uh, Randall Monroe is, it says, the creator of XKCD, whatever the hell that is. Um, but he does, he has these little stick figure drawings, and he uses them to illustrate his answers to, again, absurd hypothetical questions. We're just going to open this up and uh, take a quick look at some of these, just to give you an example. Uh, let's see, where's a good one? Um, what would happen if everyone on Earth stood as close to each other as they could and jumped, everyone landing on the ground at the same instant? Uh, so he goes through uh, and takes a small group of people in a small amount of space and slowly sort of expands on the amount of people and how much ground they would cover. And he's got these, again, cute little stick figure drawings. But it's all based on actual scientific principles. So, um, you know, we get some interesting answers. Let's see. We'll just find another one. <laughs> um, no, that one's a little bizarre. Okay, this is a fun one. What would happen if you tried to fly a normal Earth airplane above different solar system bodies? So he picks an aircraft. I think it's a Cessna he's talking about. Looks like it from the little picture. And then he talks about what would happen if you were trying to fly. He's got these nice illustrations and just illustrates if you're trying to fly it over the sun, Mars, Venus, uh, Jupiter, Saturn. I'm just naming planets at this point. Gets to Titan. Um, and again, you've got these nice, nice illustrations. And it's just a fun, uh, a fun book of science. And it, it covers a lot of different things, again, depending on what the observed question is. Um, let's see. I want. He also has these little sort of one-page things, which has uh, weird and worrying questions from the What If inbox number one. And, like, here's just an example. Here's the very first one. Would it be possible to get your teeth to such a cold temperature that they would shatter upon drinking a hot cup of coffee. And then he just has a little stick figure that says, Thank you, Shelby, for my new recurring nightmare. Right there. He doesn't answer these observed questions. It's just, or, or weird and worrying questions, excuse me. Um, they're just uh, things. A lot of these questions, or all, come from uh, people that have that have sent them in to him, to his his website or whatever it is xkcd and these are the weird ones the weird and worrying questions that he just has sort of uh, sarcastic snide or frankly frightened responses to um oh here's a fun one right here not the weird one this is a, an absurd one that does answer uh the question i assume when you travel back in time you end up at the same spot on the earth's surface at least that's how it worked in the back to the future movies if so, what would it be like if you traveled back in time, starting in Times Square, New York, 1,000 years, 10,000 years, 100,000 years, 1 million years, 1 billion years? What about forward in time, 1 million years? And again, uh, goes over all of it with these fun illustrations. Talks about, uh, you know, what the Earth essentially as far as science knows, what the Earth was like a thousand years ago, ten thousand years ago, etc., etc. Uh, talks about Pangaea. Talks about uh, what things would look like in the future, extrapolating from where we are now in history and all that. Um, anyway, all right. I'm obviously not going to go through and read all of the questions, uh, but it's just if you like, uh, just. 
fun, interesting um, fiction, nonfiction, science. It's, um, I say pick it up. It's a really interesting book. It covers a lot of interesting topics uh, in science. Uh, how fast can you hit a speed pump while speed bump while driving and live? Uh, some of these are rather bizarre questions. Things about orbital speed, uh, the internet. What place on Earth would allow you to free fall the longest by jumping off it? What about using a squirrel suit? So yeah, um, absurd hypothetical questions. Um, but, but fun. I don't know how people came up with these questions to send him, although some of them aren't quite as out there as others. Um, some of them are rather bizarre, even the ones that aren't in the weird and worrying section. Um, so, uh, yeah, you want some, some interesting science? <laughs> Check it out. You want your little, fun little stick figure drawings? If you want to know what is going to happen to that T-Rex as it's dropped into a Sarlacc pit. Uh, actually, I don't think that question is ever answered. That covers just a tease. It's a lie. But uh, somewhere in here, it does show um, the crane breaking down. I don't remember where. But, uh, yeah, I just, I recommend it. I probably I know I gave it at least four out of five on Goodreads if not five out of five because it's just it's it's interesting stuff to me um, a, a wide variety of scientific subjects uh, fun answers and he often goes beyond what was asked because the 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 answer to the question that was asked might be relatively simple and so he'll go beyond that and say, okay, you asked about this, and this here's your answer, but what if we went a little bit further? Then this craziness would happen. If we go even further, it gets even crazier. Um, so, yeah, because there's one, I'm not going to look up the specific question, but it had to do with uh, pointing laser pointers at the moon. And so he starts with, uh, I can't remember if he starts with a single laser pointer, but he moves on and on and on to spotlights and then the biggest most powerful lasers that exist on the planet and essentially what would happen if we're pointing these things at the moon if we put you know a bunch of them together and pointed it at the moon um so yeah I, again no real plot to talk of no characters except maybe the author himself or the stick figures but uh i've already gone out and bought another one of his books um, he has a third, I believe, that I have not picked up yet, but, yeah, just, uh, I recommend it. What if? I don't know who the publisher is. Some, uh, HMH is on the spine. I don't know if that means any, oh, there it is. I had it off camera there. I don't know if that means anything. Um, but, yeah. Let's, uh, let's step away from the fiction every once in a while and uh, read some nonfiction. And uh, this is a good place if you're interested in science and just a uh, little bit of craziness. I highly recommend this. It's a lot of fun. Plus, it's got a dinosaur hanging over a Sarlacc pit on the cover. Come on. I assume that's a Sarlacc pit. What else would it be? All right. So, what if Randall Monroe... I recommend it. Um, so, uh, if you have any comments, questions, or corrections, please put them in the comments below. Uh, I guess we don't have to worry about spoilers because it's nonfiction. Can you spoil that? I suppose if I just read the answers to you, that would spoil the book. Um, but obviously I'm not doing that. Uh, but anyway, we can talk about this stuff down in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, that's it. This has been the Low Budget Review Show. I have been Eric Smith. And until next time, read more books.